What's going on you guys? I hope you're all having a great morning, evening, or afternoon, whenever you may be watching this video. If you guys are subscribed to my YouTube channel or have watched most of my videos before, you guys would know that I try and upload videos every like Sunday or at least a video once a week. If you guys caught the last video, then you would know that I'm not honestly feeling the best right now, but um, I appreciate all of you guys who reached out to me and sent me Instagram DMs or in the comments who are hoping that I feel better and that you guys said that, you know, obviously I should get checked out and everything. And, um, I appreciate you guys. I am feeling a little bit better, so I wanted to make a video for you guys. At least try and get one or two videos uploaded for this week. That way I can, of course, stay true to my goal and, you know, try and stay active on my YouTube channel. So kind of like last video, this video isn't going to be really too crazy. It's going to be sort of more chill. Um, I wanted to take you guys along with me and I wanted to go grab some photos today because it's been a little while since I've gotten any photos of my 86. I was also thinking about showing you guys and like explaining how I actually shoot my photos and edit them for like Instagram or for YouTube purposes. I actually edit and film all my photos on my phone and I actually used to film my YouTube videos as well on my phone. And if you guys have something that you're passionate about doing, um, never let a fancy equipment stop you or get in the way of you starting your goal. I've been doing everything on my phone for the longest time and it's not even like I have a really nice phone, you guys. I have just a basic iPhone XR, so it really doesn't matter what you guys have. I always recommend you guys to start and push towards your goals that you guys want to make for yourself. So with that being said, let's go out and go grab some photos. But before we can do that, let's get the car pulled out onto the driveway. That way we can get it all started up. We'll get in the car all warmed up. Um, I figured I might as well tell you guys the first thing that I do before going out and trying to get photos of my car. On your guys' phone, if you guys go ahead and download the Google Earth or the Google Maps app, it honestly is a great way and a great tool for you to be able to find locations for places to take photos of your cars at. So for example, I have the uh, Google Earth pulled up right here on my phone. As you guys can see, I'm in downtown Tampa right now, which is what I put the location to. And if you go on Google Maps, you can actually see that I have these three different little locations saved. Um, in downtown Tampa where I can go and actually go and get photos at and all I have to do is just go click one of those locations Bring it over to Google Maps and then from there just type the location in and then I can actually see in real time In 3d or in 2d what the location looks like and you know kind of gives me an idea as to where I could shoot my car at So now I found a location where I think would be pretty cool to grab some photos of my car at so with that being said I'm gonna go head out to the photo location where I'm gonna grab some photos at now. Um, I don't know how great these photos are gonna turn out to be honest. This is just a spot that wasn't too far away from my house so I figured I might as well come over here and just grab some photos real quick. But with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get out now and uh, just grab some photos for you guys. So, like I said, just made it to the first location. I have you guys actually on my head mount now. That way it's a little bit easier for me to take photos and explain to you guys how to actually do what I'm doing. When it comes to taking photos, you guys can make it pretty simple or you can go pretty crazy with it. For me, honestly, I like to keep my photos more on the simple side with not too many edits or filters done to them just to have that clean, simple look. Like I said, you guys, I use my iPhone XR to take all my photos for whether that's for my Instagram 
photos or for YouTube thumbnails, etc. Um, everything I do is all on my phone besides for video editing, which for like these YouTube videos. So before we get too far into this, you guys, I don't wanna seem like I'm sort of an expert at this at all. I've only been taking photos for a little over a year or so now of the car, my B17 Sentra that I had before this car and now my 86. And um, I'm no professional at all, you guys. And I just, you know, it, I'd like to one day, you know, maybe get a camera to actually get some nice, high professional quality photos. But you know, iPhones and all like the small little cheap cameras will work for just starting off. And as you guys get better and better with time, you know, you can upgrade your equipment and get nicer stuff. When shooting photos of your car, it's always great to try and find like all the photogenic angles of your car, if that makes sense, you guys. Like for me, there's like a few different angles that I always shoot my car in, which is right here, which would be the front quarter angle shot. And then you have, if you were to have the car turn more a little bit like this, it's the three fourths angle shot. It's just, just so you could see pretty much the entire rear end of the car is what mostly is in frame. And then you have the sharp looking front end right here. If you guys have any sort of aftermarket wheels or any sort of like nice wheels on your car, I always like to get a nice little um, photo of the wheels like so. And if you're trying to start off and you don't really know the greatest of angles to shoot your car in, honestly, you can kind of just go around in a circle until you find an angle that you feel looks really great. And I would just do that until you guys can figure out the perfect angles to shoot your vehicle in. Like I mentioned before, you guys, you guys can go pretty crazy or simple with photos. And a big process when taking photos is the editing process. The sky's the limit, honestly, and your imagination can really do whatever you want with these photos. For example, if I wanted to make it where this, my 86 looked like it was in a giant field and none of this stuff was in the background, I could easily just remove like that trailer, for example, and all this cement right here and put grass. And it's almost as if the car is in a field. So you guys can get pretty crazy with the editing. Um, I wouldn't overdo it if I were you because then it could start to look a little unreal. But there's a lot of different programs that you guys can download or apps that actually makes it a lot easier to edit your photos. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and dive in and get some photos and videos for you guys. And then from there on, we'll see if we have enough time to go to another location. exhaust never gets old you guys I know it's a little obnoxious for some people considering it's got the considering it's got the catless headers on it but for me honestly you guys <laughs> oh my god this is the only thing that makes me feel better you guys
Anyway, so I'm actually gonna grab some food right now. I'm a little hungry. Um, but I'm thinking about probably after this, just going home. Like I said, I'm not really feeling the best, so I'm gonna go ahead and just chill out. But once we get home, I'll go ahead and show you guys how I actually go through the entire process of editing my photos and everything like that. So with that being said, I'll pick up the camera once I get home. All right, you guys, so I made it home a few hours ago. Just been chilling out, you know, reviewing some of the footage that I got from earlier. But now that we made it home, I wanna kinda explain to you guys how I actually edit some of the photos. Um, as you guys can see, here's some of the photos that we grabbed earlier. Um, there's a bunch of different ways of going about doing this, like I mentioned before. Um, you can actually get tons of different softwares, whether that's free or paid softwares to edit your photos. Um, for the purpose of this video, I'm actually going to download maybe Lightroom, which is what I actually use to do my photos currently on my phone. Um, I'm gonna actually download Lightroom or maybe Adobe Photoshop on my computer just so I can screen record it. That way you guys can get a better view as to what I actually do and the steps that I take to edit my photos. So with that being said, let me get one of these downloaded right here. And once it's finished downloading, I'll show you guys the steps that I take to edit my photos. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna go ahead and do is once you get the software downloaded, if you're going to like edit the photos on a different device that you took the photos on, um, you're gonna wanna obviously of course transfer the photos from the camera to your computer or whatever device you're using to edit the photos. So with that being said, um, I'm gonna get these videos and uh, photos downloaded onto my computer. That way I can pull them up here. And uh, from there, we'll go ahead and start editing them. So to start off, what you're gonna wanna obviously do is just go in to whatever device that you transferred the files over to and just pull up the photo that you're gonna wanna edit, which we got right here. Before I even thinking about touching anything on the photo itself, what I always like to do is go in and change the aspect ratio for the photo that I'm gonna be editing. So depending on what software you guys use, as you guys can see, there's a lot of preset aspect ratios already made for you. So usually whenever I do my photos, I usually only post them on like, on like Instagram. So as you guys can see right here, there's actually a tab that automatically will change the photo to the correct size for you automatically, depending on what different aspect ratio you have. What I'll usually mess around with next is the lighting of the photo. And as you guys can kind of see, this photos that I took was on like a bright sunny day. So I wouldn't really say that I would need to brighten the photo up too much, as you guys can see, because it will overexpose it and it really just does not look that great. So I honestly, when this is super bright over kind of brighten photo I kind of like to like, brighten it down a little bit and then you know maybe add a little bit more contrast stuff like that and I would say you know when it comes to editing your photos it's all really a personal preference as to what you want to do with them um you know it, it doesn't need to be anything too crazy like I said I like to keep my photos more simple looking you know not too overly edited stuff like that so I don't really change too much really when it comes to photos it's just the color grading and the work that you do and the time that you put into the photos you can really tell um, by the final product and I would say that even if you're shooting your photos on something like an old phone like what I have the way you edit them is really what matters and how it comes out good or bad so it's honestly just a lot of practice and over time, the more and more you guys do it, when it comes with like really anything in life, you'll get better at it, of course. So like I said, this was more of like a bright, sunnier type of day. So if we go into the next thing I usually do would be colors for the photos. And when it's a photo like this, where it's more of like a sunnier type photo in the daylight, I some ways, like to kind of warm the photo up a little bit, especially when there's all this greenery and trees and stuff like that. It kind of gives it a nice warm touch to the photo. And we'll sometimes like to add a little bit of extra saturation just to pop the colors that are in the photo. Of course, you guys see that I have a bright blue car. So having a little bit of extra saturation pop makes the car, of course, stand out a little bit more. So this next step can honestly make or break your photos. And it's usually what people go wrong with when editing their photos is the effects and like how you know strong and how much details you put onto the photo so you guys see over here 
if I go into effects, you can see clarity, grain, dehaze, and another big one, which is sharpen. So people usually see these and assume clarity means like, oh, if I bring this up, it makes the photo look a lot nicer, which in some cases, it can make the photo have a little bit of course more details and it can make the photo more sharper but if you overdo it you can kind of start to see all the little pixels on the phone and you know obviously with you shooting with a phone like this and not a great camera it honestly doesn't have the nicest of quality so when you try and crank up the quality when you're editing the photos it kind of like yeah i really don't know how to explain it but it kind of just ruins the quality of the photos if I'm not gonna lie. So I always try to, you know, it's nice to add maybe a little bit, but never overdo it when it comes to, you know, doing your effects or your details on the photos. Another big step in the photo editing process that a lot of people sometimes, you know, forget to do or skip out on is the color grading of the photos. So I don't have all the features that I normally would on this site, like I do on my phone, but if you guys go over to the split tone on this Adobe Photoshop Express, you can go to where the color grading is. And the best way really for me to explain this as someone who's not really a professional, um, highlights, shadows, and the balance is like the three main like things for color grading. And um, as you guys can see, if I set it to like yellow or like orange, and go through this little hue list, the whole like background and everything of the photo is changing. So for example, for this photo right here, like I said, it's more of a warmer type photo. So I would probably set it to like maybe orange or yellow. And as I crank up the saturation, the entire like mood of the photo is changed. So I usually, let's say around like 20 or so, and um, we can do like, I don't know, like yellow, I guess for this. And uh, see, as I crank it up, obviously, the entire photo starts to become more yellow. So obviously you don't wanna do too much saturation to, you know, overdo it, but maybe just, you know, crank it up to like, maybe like 20 or so, just to give it that nice warm kind of vibe to the photo. Once you got the color grading out of the way, one of the final steps that I usually take is doing like a spot heel on the photo. Now you may be wondering what that really is. And for example, if you see like this bright, like exposure from the sunlight on the car right here, if you go over to spot heel and if you go ahead and you guys can see my mouse right here, if you just click on the little like, I don't know what you'd call that, like the sun mark, I guess. You guys can see it actually, let me zoom in a little bit, that'd probably make it easier for you guys. <laughs> but as you guys can see, it actually gets, well, I'm not really doing a great job, kind of hard to do with one hand, but it will actually like remove the mark from the photo. And you can get pretty crazy with this, honestly. Like if you see this background right here and like all these fences and stuff, if you really wanted to, you could just go in and actually remove all of this stuff. So if I were to make the brush size a little bit bigger and go like here, as you, as you guys can see, the fence is pretty much gone and I can, you know, make it so where it looks like it's a, a giant open field, for example. Um, I'll pull up this photo right here and I'll put it on the screen of an example kind of like as to what I'm talking about. You guys can see that I got rid of like the trailer and some of the trees and stuff like that. So when you guys do the photoshopping and you're editing, you guys can get pretty crazy with it. Whether that's changing the background like the sky or maybe changing the location of where the car is actually at, it's all up to you. So that's pretty much it, you guys. Um, like I said, I'm no professional, so there's of course a lot better methods online that you could watch and videos that you can watch on how to actually edit your photos. But for someone who's a beginner, who may be using like a small phone or like something like not like the greatest of cameras, this is a great way I feel like for someone who may want to start off 
in automotive photography who you know just doesn't know <laughs> pretty much anything about taking photos um i i learned honestly all on my own just from you know the practice and over time you doing more and more photos with my old car, my Sentra. <laughs> I would go out probably like three or four times a week and just grab photos of it just because, you know, it's a hobby of mine. I, I enjoy taking photos just like I enjoy making videos for you guys. And, you know, having cars in my life is just a big thing, whether that's, you know, driving them, making videos with them, filming them, taking photos. My whole life kind of revolves around cars. so. Everything that I have, like my passions that I'm passionate about, revolves around cars. So of course, that includes automotive photography. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and actually dub in all the photos that I got from this shoot. And um, that way you guys can see how they all turned out. All right, you guys, so that's gonna pretty much wrap up this little tutorial video for you guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little process of me taking you along with how I edit and film, you know, all my photos that I take. If you guys did find this video helpful in any way, please make sure to give it a like down below. It helps me out so much. Subscribe if you guys are new, that way you guys can stay up to date on all the content that I'm always putting out. And make sure to leave a comment down below as well. Also, um, if you guys enjoyed this type of video and you guys would like to see more videos like this. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Take care, peace.